Hello everyone, I'm your host Ined. And I'm your co-host Steven. And welcome to BG News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for a moment of silence and meditation. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, and you should have started with your 8th period. Last Saturday, the Miami Heat defeated the Chicago Bulls 107-104. The day after, the Miami Dolphins defeated the Carolina Panthers 33-10. The Matter Girls volleyball team recently defeated Pond Verde on Wednesday, November 17, making them back-to-back -back state champs. Seniors, it is very important to apply for scholarships. The Burger King Scholarship is due December 15th. The Taco Bell Live Mass is due on January 11th. And the McDonald's Asset Scholarship is due on February 7th of 2022. Matter has recently started offering math homework help for middle schoolers in room 1303 on Monday from 245 to 345. And for high schoolers is in room 112 from 245 to 345 on Monday also. For algebra specifically, it's in room 123 from 6 a.m. to 7.15 a.m., Monday through Friday. This month is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, so join us while we give you some information on it. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disease that destroys memory and other mental functions. This happens because brain cells and connections degenerate, which destroys memory and causes confusion. Alzheimer's is also known as the most common type of dementia. This disease sadly cannot be cured, however it can be treated. According to recent research about Alzheimer's dementia, one of the symptoms is agitated behavior, which is cursing, screaming, hitting, restlessness, pacing, etc. However, other symptoms include confusion with time and location, withdrawal from social activities, Difficulty completing familiar tasks, difficulty solving normal problems, unfounded emotions, memory loss, and much, much more. Alzheimer's is actually also a five-stage disease, preclinical Alzheimer's, mild cognitive impairment, mild dementia, moderate dementia, and severe dementia due to Alzheimer's. There are actually a lot of possible causes for Alzheimer's. Some scientists believe that it can come from heart and blood vessel issues, from heart disease, diabetes, strokes, blood pressure, all of that. But it can also come from high stress or a high buildup of proteins in and around your brain cells. In most recent years, people have created websites to help people with Alzheimer's to find a way to make them feel more comfortable. I'm going to be reading off a list of 10 ways to help a family living with Alzheimer's. Number one, educate yourself about Alzheimer's disease, which is similarly to what we're doing with you now. Two, stay in touch. A call or a visit means a lot. Three, be patient. Adjusting to an Alzheimer's diagnosis is a very difficult process and everybody has different reactions. Number four, offer a shoulder to lean on. This can be a very stressful time for anybody. Support is needed. Number five, engage with the person with dementia in a conversation, even when it is difficult for them to participate. Six, offer to help the family with its to-do list. Prepare a meal, run an errand, help picking up people from school. Seven, engage family members in activities. It's important to get your mind off of stuff when it gets too stressful. Number eight, offer the family members a free day where they can let go of the responsibility of taking care of the person with dementia. You give it a go. Nine, be flexible. Don't get frustrated if your offer of support is not accepted immediately. It takes time. 10, 
truly support the cause for Alzheimer's. There are also available hotlines to support family members of people who suffer from Alzheimer's. No one should have to go through it alone. It's important to be patient with those who have Alzheimer's, considering that their brain function is not what it once was. Everyone copes differently, and it is important to be aware of the sources available to you. There are multiple sources and support systems that you can go to. Please do. Please take time out of your day to post and talk about Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Raise awareness, Lions. Thank you so much for listening to us talk, Lions. Have a great day, communicate, and make sure you raise awareness.